Today we'll be taking a look at the Elegoo Neptune 4 3D printer. It's a fast and affordable budget friendly 3D printer for anyone looking to get started in 3D printing. The printer arrives well packaged and it's partially assembled. In the box we can find the user manual with instructions on how to set up the printer. There's a power cable, a bag of tools and accessories including the filament sample, spare nozzles and assembly hardware. There's a spool holder, a glue stick for the build platform, the large auxiliary cooling fan which should provide plenty of cooling, there's the frame upright that has the dual separ motors for the z-axis and the x-axis hot end already pre-installed, there's a touch screen for controlling the printer and finally there's the base with all the electronics and the bed attached. For the assembly all the bags and bolts are clearly labelled which makes it quick and easy to build the printer. As the 3D printer comes mostly pre-assembled there are only a few steps needed for the setup. First the upright is bolted onto the base from the underside with four bolts. Next the magnetic screen holder is attached to the side of the printer. With this installed the touch screen is held in place with magnets. Then the screen is plugged into the front of the printer with a coiled cable. At the top of the printer the spool holder is installed and the filament run out sensor is attached. The auxiliary part cooling fan is attached to the back of the printer's x axis and this is held in place with three bolts. Finally all the cables are plugged in to complete the build process. With the printer built it's good to check around and make sure everything's working correctly and moving smoothly. I found the x axis was a little loose and this is easily adjusted by turning the eccentric nuts with the included spanner. This will tighten the wheels touching the profile and this only needs to be tightened just enough to remove the free play and still allow it to move smoothly. Finally before turning on the printer check that it's set to the correct voltage for your country and then the power cord is plugged in and the printer is turned on. The Elegoo Neptune 4 has a print volume of 225 by 225 by 265 millimeters. It has a listed print speed of up to 500 millimeters a second with the recommended print speeds of 250 millimeters a second which is still very quick for a printer of this type. The clipper firmware is pre-installed and it supports input shaping and pressure advance to improve the print quality. The printer is operated by the 4.3 inch touch screen. I found it to be responsive and easy to navigate. The screen is held in a magnetic holder which makes the screen removable and it can be operated by handheld or fixed on the base. When selecting a file to print it's great to see an image of the 3D model displayed on the screen. For loading files there are front ports for a USB stick, type C USB and micro SD card. There's no Wi-Fi however there's an Ethernet port on the side to plug into a network that once connected supports local area network printing and you can use the web terminal to remotely control or monitor your printer. The frame is a solid design built with aluminium extrusions. It has dual z-axis motors with a belt to keep them synchronized. This keeps the z-axis stable and level. We can find belt tensioners on the y and x-axis and this makes it easy to tighten the belts. The hot end uses a high flow 0.4 millimeter nozzle that can reach up to 300 degrees and with a dual gear direct extruder it's capable of handling a large variety of materials. There are also two built-in cooling fans on either side of the hot end. At the back just behind the hot end there's a larger part cooling fan with four additional fans which makes sure the layers are cooled quickly when printing at high speeds. The printer itself is fairly quiet but I did find the fans a bit loud when on full speed. On the bed we have a spring steel PEI magnetic platform and the prints stick well to the surface when printing and removing models only require a gentle flex in the plate. For perfect first layers there are wheels for adjusting the bed level manually and there's a 121 point auto bed level built in. The auto bed level works great and it's easy to dial in and fine tune the settings. Another great feature is the built in LEDs. There's a light strip at the top and there's a second LED light near the nozzle which makes it easy to see the models printing in low light conditions. To get started printing the filament is loaded onto the spool holder. This is then passed through the filament run out sensor then into the extruder. Loading filament is a hassle free and easy process on this printer. For the first test print we are printing the included pre-sliced benchy boat. This is printed with white PLA at 250 millimeters a second. The total print time took 26 minutes and when the print is finished it's removed from the bed surface simply by flexing the build plate. The finished print looks good and it's a clean and accurate model. To prepare your own files for printing the Elegoo version of Cura is included on the USB drive. 
The setup process is easy and there is already a default profile set up for the printer. For slicing, a model is placed into the software and prepared for printing. I found the default settings work well and these can be adjusted if you like. The next print is a print in place helicopter. The helicopter is printed with PLA at 250 millimeters a second. It's a good test as it has the propeller blades built in and they should be able to spin freely once the print is complete. The print took 44 minutes to complete and once the model cooled, it's easily removed from the build surface. The finished model looks clean and the propellers needed to be gently turned to make them move freely. The geometric pot is set to print in spiral mode where it only prints the base and the outer wall. Overall, this was another great print, all with using the default profile settings. The Elegu Neptune 4 is an affordable 3D printer that can produce fast and great quality prints. It's an easy to assemble machine that has a touch screen, auto bed level and easy to use software, which makes it a perfect printer for a beginner looking to start 3D printing or for someone looking to upgrade from an older machine.